one of the things I pack as the temperatures start to go down and move into the winter months is some type of an insulating layer, usually a puffer jacket or a puffer vest of some type. It can be either reeled down or it can be a synthetic. It really depends on how cold I expect the temperatures to be that day. I usually put it in my backpack. I don't wear it when I head out because, of course, you're moving, you're going to stay warm. But once you get to your location and you settle down, that's when the chill usually starts to set in. And that is when I dig it out and put that layer on. So when a company contacted me not so long ago and offered to send me a vest, an electrically heated vest, my interest was peak. And that's what I've got to share with you today. If you're interested in hearing more about this vest, keep watching. Okay, so there's not a whole lot I can tell you about this vest so far. So this is going to be more of an introduction, a preview of the vest. I've had it for about a month and yes, I've been wearing it around the house. I've been wearing it out in the, my neighborhood, but I have yet to pack it and take it into the woods for one very simple reason. It's not cold enough to be honest, but it won't be long before it is cold enough that I'm looking to pack something and take with me. And that's when I'll start wearing this vest. And after I get some experience using it in some cold temperatures. I'm not going to call them really cold because there are places outside of the East Coast that get a lot colder. But when I get in temperatures cold enough that I can appreciate what a heated vest can do, that's when I'll come back and give you more of a full review on it. But what I can tell you is, is that it is a vest that is filled with a synthetic insulation. And I think that's important to know because uh, if this vest relied simply on the heating elements, which I'll talk about in a second, and didn't have any real insulation to go with it, then I don't think it would be something I would be interested in because no matter how good the heating elements are and how long the battery will last, it's eventually going to wear out and I want the vest to be able to keep me warm by itself. So when I compared this vest against a few of the others that I have, not the down ones, but the other synthetic ones, it has roughly the same insulation. That backed up with the heating elements make it quite interesting. Now let's talk about the heating elements for just a moment. So there are locations all through the vest where there are graphite heating elements. So it's not electric, it's not copper wires or anything like that that might break. That they are made from graphite and they are waterproof. So if you're worried if this will get wet and short circuit or electrocute you or burn you somehow, that's not the case. It won't. It is a waterproof vest, or at least the elements are resistant to water damage. In fact, you can throw this in the wash if, you, if it gets dirty or sweaty or whatever and you want to clean it up. So what I can tell you now is that the panels are located on the back of the neck, in the pockets, on my lower back, around my kidneys, and on the upper back. And I've tried it with the temperatures, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of how that works. And when you zip it up and you, you turn it on, it gets warm. It gets really warm. In fact, usually after it reaches its temperature, I turn it down to the lowest temperature. In fact, I really don't even need the heating element yet, even out walking, because it's, like I mentioned a minute ago, it's just not cold enough. So how does this operate and what does it run off? Well, it has a 10,000 milliamp lithimer, lithium, lithium polymer, lithium polymer, that's it. Not lithium ion, but lithium polymer battery. Now it is proprietary to this vest in that the plug in the vest, and I'll demonstrate that in the middle, is just a uh, small, uh, not unorthodox, but not USB type of a port. But what you will see is that it takes a USB-C type charging cable to charge the battery, so it charges up quite quickly and it has a USB output so it can be used to charge your cell phone or whatever device that you may need charging for. So it is a long-lived battery. I did a little research. We'll talk more about that in the full review. And uh, yeah, it's got four little white lights on it to give you an indication of the charge. And it works quite well. Now I'm going to take the vest off so that I can show you where this plugs in on the side. And uh, we'll just talk a little bit more about the vest. All right, so here's the vest, and I'll close in and give you a close-up of a few of the details of it. So here is the label on the back of the NEF that states FT Vogue, and a little bit of information about the vest itself. The pocket that holds the battery is on the lower right hip, 
behind the hand pocket and you can see here this is where the cable that plugs into the battery and then drop it into a zippered pocket. Now my one concern at this point and there's no reason to think it, it will be an issue is that it, it's nylon, it may be water resistant but I don't think it's waterproof. So likely what I'll do is drop the battery into a little bit of a Ziploc bag and then into the pocket just to give an extra layer of protection. Again, I don't know that that's necessary but that's what the longer term testing will uh, determine. So again, here is some more information about the vest and the washing instructions and that type of thing. There are cord locks on both sides that allow you to snug it up around your hips. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the vest back on and I'll show you how it operates with the uh, battery and the battery switch. All right, let's, uh, I'll do a 360 for you. Let me zipper the vest up so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. It does zip up. I probably just cut the microphone off. <laughs> get the microphone on the outside of the vest. All right, sorry about the noise with the microphone. I uh, wanted to zip the vest all the way up so you can see it. So I'll give you a 360 on what the vest looks like on. Um, right now I'm wearing it just over a shirt and that's likely how I'm going to wear this vest when I go out is I'll probably wear it on top of my base layer or if I have a thin mid layer on, I may wear it on top of that, but I want to keep the vest relatively close to my body under any other overcoat that I might have, quite often my wool jacket, as you know, so that I can keep the warmth closer to my body and not from losing it. I don't think I would get the full effect of the heating elements if I were to wear this on the outside of, a, say, a thick sweater or jacket or anything else. So I like the, well, the fit and fin finish of this is you know, it's fashionable to start, to say the least, but fashion is not important to me when I wear it in the woods. I want to know that it's going to be close enough that the heating elements are going to do the work and still uh, roomy enough to wear a proper layer underneath and have some movement. And I think it does all of that for me. Now, I'll come in a little closer so I can demonstrate how the switch works on this. So there is a symbol right here on my left chest, and this looks like an... Uh, uh, on off icon that you see on a lot of devices because that's essentially what it is. So in order to operate this vest you just push down on the button for about three seconds and you see that it's flashing red right now. So how this works is when you first turn it on it starts to heat up to its highest intensity and once it reaches that level it immediately shifts down to the medium level of heat. So there are three heat levels with this vest red for the highest intensity, blue for the moderate intensity, and green for the lowest intensity, and allowing you to uh, adjust the temperature as you need it. And when we get into the full review, I'll talk about the battery length for each of those levels. So it'll continue to be red until it reaches that highest intensity, as I mentioned, and it will shift down, and you can uh, determine what you want as your temperature level. Oh. Already I can start to feel the heat. This is nice. It really is. I can feel the heat across the back of my neck between my shoulder blades and right down in the lower kidney area. And I know if I put, yes, if I put my hands in my pockets, it's warm in there as well. So uh, yeah, it does feel good. I gotta be honest. Okay, I have one question I wanna ask you before we wrap up. All right, before we wrap up, let me ask you this. Is a heated vest, an electronically heated vest like this, something of interest to you? Would you consider wearing something like this while you're out in the woods? I know before having looked at it, it's not something I had given a lot of thought to, but once I did look at it, I thought, yeah, there might be some value in looking at this. Maybe you already have an electrically heated vest, something like this. Uh, I want to know your experiences with it. Is it something you could recommend to other people? Do you use it? These are the questions I want to be able to have from you so that I can answer them when I go to the full review. Okay, the only other things I can add to this introduction to this vest from FT Vogue is that we are working on, meaning the manufacturer and I are working on a discount uh, for you. So I don't know at the time of this video if that discount is available. If it is, it will appear in the video description underneath this uh, video and maybe I'll even pin a comment to that. Uh, it may wait until we do the full review. I'll, I'll work that out with them. But what I will do, of course, is I will put the links to where you can take a look at this vest on Amazon. And what I can tell you right now, it, there's not a lot of variations. There is a male and a female version of this vest, but not a lot 
of colors or anything else to go with it. All right, so again, I don't have anything else I can tell you about the vest at this time, but I will be trying this out in cold weather. And when I get a little bit of use with it in cold weather, then I should be able to come back and give you a more full review. All right, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.